What is going on, YouTube people? That's right. FOMO got the best of me. FOMO remains undefeated. We have a $400 Topps Chrome Jumbo Box. What could possibly go wrong here uh, besides me lighting $400 on fire? Remember, no matter what happens, once this box opening is complete, this is a massive risk opening one of these things. Uh, you are more likely to get destroyed than you are to actually make your money back. We have an increased checklist on this. It's going to make it harder to potentially hit MVPs for buybacks to offset some of this. This is the jumbo box. So the big thing with this is the increased autos. You get three autos per box instead of one in hobby. Hobby boxes are currently going for about $200, give or take. But do keep in mind of the MVP buyback when you're opening one of these things to make sure we actually have to pay attention to base cards in this. Specifically, as of right now, the betting favorites, I believe, are Judge and Otani, with Henderson getting a little bit of love, Bryce Harper getting a little bit of love, um, I think Soto's on the short list. You know, things could switch. There's still a lot of time to go here in the season, but that's what we're looking at. So we got three autos. I got some penny sleeves ready to rock and roll. One of the big things, just also keep this in mind as a little FYI. One of the uh, big things this year is the vet autos in Topps Chrome that they're touting. Uh, you've seen it with like Griffey and Ichiro. Those only come out of Breaker's Delight product. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right. So big thing we want to look for here is quality control. I'm curious about the surface specifically. So I think how I want to do this is just a general rookie pile. Uh, Mace win, not too bad. A little bit upper tier rookie pile and then just vet base. And if there's anyone on the MVP shortlist, I will put them in a separate pile. All right, here's our first refractor. And we got a Pete Crow Armstrong that is very off-centered, top to bottom. So we'll put that in the, looks like we got something on the back too. So we'll put that in the uh, minor hits pile. We got a Jason Dominguez refractor insert. What's the shiny one on the back? Looks like another refractor, a Wade Meckler base refractor. And then we got a prism of Nathan Eovaldi. So we'll do that. I guess we'll penny sleeve the Dominguez. I think this is the strokes. Yeah. Interesting name for an insert, but what are you going to do? And we'll uh, sleeve up the rookie refractors. Even for the uh, not so super popular guys. All right, one pack in. Maybe I'll wait and sleeve those at the end, not to delay everything unless we hit something really, really big. A little Novelli Marte. Uh, I already screwed my piles up. Rookie pile. Rookie pile. There we go. We'll get it, folks. Once again, you do need to pay attention to the base cards because you never know. Oh, there we go. A little Dominguez rookie refractor. Once again, top to bottom centering on these 35th anniversaries are a little rough. Justin Verlander all etched. And I don't know, you know, some of the inserts I think are a little bit more harder to hit. We got our back refractor and a Teoscar Hernandez prism refractor. I'm going to sleeve the Dominguez. Nice looking card, but the centering is definitely way off on that. Unless that's just a design, which I find hard to believe so a lot of players you are looking to potentially go after in this uh you have dominguez we have ellie we have churio we have merle there are there's evan carter that's another one that's not too terribly bad um 
lot of lot of players that you could potentially chase in this one. Jose Ramirez with a nice big print line on it right there. All right, getting into the hits. Summertime in the park, Acuna. We got a refractor of Jose Tanya, actually a pretty good prospect for my Cleveland Indians. And we got a green speckle rookie, Blue Jays, Spencer Horowitz out of 99. So you can see the numbering on the front there, a little bit of a change up this year for that uh still no autos hopefully they're saving all the banger autos for the end all right we got a Pete crow armstrong base there's our first ellie base centering doesn't look too bad a little thin on the bottom still seems like that's been the case on a lot of these surface for the most part has looked okay on these i haven't seen anything there was that ramirez with a big print line on it but i haven't seen it like jumping out the page at me that the centering is just way way off jordan gorman all right we got another summertime in the park little jackson holiday bryce davis rookie refractor and we got a little something something here maybe this is one of our auto yeah this is one of our first autos it is a rookie Marlins, Dan Myers, womp womp. I'm sorry, Dane Myers, out of 150. Guessing that is a blue lava or a blue wave or whatever they call it. All right, so auto number one, Dane Myers, out of 150. Put that over there with the Dominguez. All right. And there's, I was talking about surface issues. You can see that one's pretty scuffed up. But that has definitely not been the, uh, the norm on these. I will say this design does look really good. There's a nice J-Rod base. There's a Raphael Devers all etched. Got a refractor on the back. Uh, Mace one, that's actually a pretty good one to pull. We'll sleeve that one up. And then we got a prism of Jordan Walker. Once a major chase in previous years, but has been stuck in the minors for a while. So Mace Ren Refractor, not too bad. He's having a really good year. All right, another Jose Tenya base. Henry Davis base. But yeah, one of the... I really don't like the way... Henry Davis base refractor. They have been marketing the... CJ Abrams. The vet autos basically making it feel like you could get those in pretty much anything. Uh, if you look at like their social posts and stuff, they've been showing off that Griffey Auto, which looks really good. It's a really cool looking card for sure. But they kind of give you the impression that you could pull that thing out of anywhere. And that is just not the case. There's a Jackson Merrill base. Still, I, I could have missed it. I've been trying to pay. There's a Yamamoto base. I've been trying to pay somewhat attention. I don't think we've hit anyone that is on the buyback list or, you know, what would be on the short list for a buyback. Oh, there's nice Otani. 35th. Salvador Perez strokes. Then we got something here. It looks like a pink magenta. Grayson Rodriguez. Uh, that is out of 350. Not a bad player to hit. Obviously, you'd prefer a hitter, but could be worse. And I don't think these count towards 
MVP buybacks. But we will penny sleeve up a base Otani or a Otani refractor. All right. My piles. Don't ask what's going on with the piles. They're just an absolute mess. I'm going to have to resort these when I'm done. A little Bo Naylor action. Chris Sale. Bogarts. All right. Our refractor is Andrew Abbott. We got a teal here, and it is our auto. Angels. Kieran Paris out of 199. Can't say that I'm very familiar with him either. We got our all etched and our strokes. I don't even know. Just <laughs> I don't know why you would name it insert strokes. All right, so two autos, both rookies. Uh, this whole product is on card autos. All right, we got four packs left. Get that box out of the way. All right, so I think I got a pretty good flow for... Oh, there's a gunner. I guess we'll put him in the uh, potential MVP pile. I think he's number two in the betting odds right now for the AL. All right, our refractor. So there's the refractor always in the back slot. Then it's your hit slot, which we got a prism Manny Machado. And then it's your insert slot is basically the way that these flow. Uh, looks like we got something blue in here. David Hamilton having a good year. Jared Jones having a really good year until he got hurt. Torkelson. Patrick Bailey. JP Crawford. All right, our refractor. Ken Zone. Here's a blue speckle, I'm assuming. Oh, not an auto. Diamondbacks, Bryce Jarvis out of 125, and a Swanson insert. So nothing super crazy. CES, Colton Kowser. Once again, very deep rookie class with some definite headliners at the top. Uh, Evan Carter, base refractor, is pretty good. Though he's not having the greatest of years. All right, here's our last auto. It is just a base auto. It is a rookie. Phillies, pitcher. Ugh. Uh, Orion Keurig. All right. So the autos whiffed hard. I'm going to sleeve up the Evan Carter. We got good second tier rookies for refractors with the Evan Carter and the Mace win. Last pack. Let's see what we got. Goldschmidt. All right, our refractor. Pitcher. Our last hit looks like a prism. Taj Bradley having a really good year, but not who you want to pull. And an Anthony Volpe. All right, let's see how we did. I think this is where I kind of put a little bit. We got a Yamamoto base, Jackson Merrill base. Henry Davis, Refractor. Ellie Daly Cruz, Base. Put that over there. Jose Tenya, Refractor. Not bad. Pete Chrome Armstrong, Refractor. Wade Meckler. Uh, that Dominguez, Insert, Refractor. So from the air quote hits, I'm going to use that term loosely. Uh, Spencer Horowitz, out of 99. We got an Evan Carter, Refractor. And I didn't look any of these over for grading. Uh, Orion Auto. Bryce Jarvis out of 125. 
uh, in what I'm assuming is a blue speckle. Here in Paris, uh, I'm going to assume an aqua wave out of 199. Uh, nice Otani refractor, probably like five bucks, maybe. Uh, Grayson Rodriguez out of 350. Mace Wynn refractor, not too bad there. He's having a really nice season. Dane Myers, blue wave, blue ray wave. I forget what they call these uh, out of 150. And then the Dominguez 35th refractor. And then. Like I said, I could have missed something. I'll go back through and double check the base. But to the best of my knowledge on a first pass through, only one potential MVP buyback in Gunnar Henderson. I don't remember seeing any Sotos, any Bobby Witts, uh, any Aaron Judges, any Otanis, any Harpers. And then after the NL is a little bit more clear cut. I think after that, it drops way down to like Freddie Freeman, Marcelo Zuna and stuff like that. It's most likely going to be Otani or Bryce Harper, but I don't remember seeing any of those guys in there. So we'll set the gunner to the side. I'll, I'll double check this to make sure I didn't miss anything. When you're opening jumbo, you're really all in on hoping to hit a good auto. That's what you're paying the premium for is the four autos per box. So curious for your thoughts and comments as always down below. If you ripped any of this, let me know how it went for you. We'll catch you boys and girls on the next one. Peace.